Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. For those of you who don't know, I'm Larry Teixeira, Director of San Luis High School District's Adult and Community Education Program, Principal of San Jose Adult School. Uh, I'm very honored that we were able to host this event this evening in memory of one of our outstanding teachers. Coincidentally, today is Day of the Teacher in California and celebrated by our local school board. So it's very fitting tonight that we honor one of our outstanding teachers. Uh, we have a program. You have a copy in front of you. So if those people are trying to move the program along, so if stupid people who are going to speak cannot hear me, you can hear me better now. Oh my gosh, do you know I'm Larry Teixeira? Do you know today's the day of the teacher? Okay, I'm more proud of So I'm going to be introducing people, but I'm going to hope that the persons that are prepared would just step right up to the microphone. And uh, we'll begin our program this evening with a word from uh, my partner, Assistant Director Fred Thompson. Thank you. Uh, it's truly an honor to give the sort of the first tribute to uh, Martin. He is a, a true friend and true professional um, to us all. He's a real treasure to have. Um, Martin first started just a little history uh, at Kuman, uh, which is an organization which is very popular among after-school programs, probably one of the largest in the area, developing curriculum for students. And uh, he was a manager at that program. And he left the program and wanted to pursue his direct relationship with students. And so he started a master's in TESOL at San Francisco State University. And TESOL stands for Teaching English to Speakers of Other Languages. And he worked in that program and worked on his master's. And at the same time, he volunteered his time for uh, us at the Workers' Resource Center right down here on Fifth Avenue in San Mateo. And there he really developed his true love for working with English as a second language students. Um, as a program, as a volunteer, he worked very hard and uh, developed a really strong following among his students. And then when a position opened up for a regular teaching position, we offered him the job. And the program grew from not only one teacher, but two teachers, and eventually three. And I think that had a lot to do with, uh, with Martin. Also, when he came here, we found out that we combined both of his, his knowledge and love for teaching English language learners and also with his background at Kuhlman with curriculum development. And he was the first uh, technical curriculum development teacher we had. We didn't have a whole series of smart boards, but we did have uh, curriculum at that time. And uh, we were working with those uh, particular students. At the Workers' Center, students would come to him. And they would send a, say to him, Martin, can you help me find a job? Teacher, I need a job. How do I find one? And so he started very creative ways in looking at Craigslist and having students post their own jobs and trying to find them uh, work and employment. And he would come to us and say, we really need to develop this type of program. And so during the summer, it was a non-grant funded position at that time, we said, well, let's pilot and see what we can do during the summer. So we piloted that program, and it worked out very, very well. Well, in the fall of that year, the Silicon Valley Community Foundation put up what's called a, uh, a program for funding uh, for English language learners. And so uh, we looked right to Martin and his program that was very successful. And we named it Passport to Employment, and that program started to grow. And we were funded by the Silicon Valley Community Foundation primarily because of the work that Martin had started. And that first year, we, we had about 60% of the people that were in that program actually found jobs. Really fantastic. And it was all because of his work and continued work with the students in very, very creative ways. And then uh, this next year, he was funded for this program. And uh, we got another grant, primarily because of his excellent work with those particular students. Um, also, you know, his professionalism, I think, has gone um, above and beyond what we all have expected. And he's truly going to be missed. Uh, he was an exceptional teacher, and we'll all remember him for that. Over this last several, several days, I've been, or weeks, I've been getting lots of emails, um, and especially the last week or so, uh, from people that have known Martin, either as a teacher, or as a friend, or as a student. And just today, I, I'd like to end with a final comment uh, from a teacher who knew Martin very well, no longer in this program, but emailed me. And I think this uh, goes to the heart of what we all think about Martin. Martin was a true educator. 
his teaching catalyzed personal development of all of the students and his colleagues. All of us who knew Martin have been nourished by his full and gentle heart, inspired by his keen intellect, and uplifted by his wit and his wisdom. That was a teacher of Bruce Smith, right? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Tonight, I just want to share with you uh, an email I got from Martin shortly before he died. Uh, when we found out that Martin was going to die, it was quite a shock. And I hesitated before writing to him. And uh, I pondered what I would say to him. And it happened to be Holy Week. And so I really wanted to tell Martin what was in my heart. So I wrote, Dear Martin, I just want you to know that you are very much in my thoughts and prayers during this Holy Week. I will remember you especially as we commemorate the Last Supper today, Holy Thursday, as I walk along Haight Street for our way of the cross on Good Friday, and celebrate the resurrection on Sunday. May the passion of Jesus give you strength, and may the risen Christ grant you deep peace and a true joy that flows from that peace. Letitia. And I did not expect an answer from Martin. And the following day, on Good Friday, I got this email. Dear Letitia, thank you for remembering me in your prayers. I remember how brave you were after your hip replacement, obviously suffering pain, yet inspiring with every step. I pray for your strength and hope to learn to see suffering as a blessing. My days here are limited, but I look for peace as this life ends. Happy Easter, Martin. Teacher Lisa Sparks. days after being hired, I ran into Martin in the teacher's room. He made it seem so effortless 
making what would normally be a very difficult grammar lesson for even a native English speaker easy for his students to understand. You could see the love and thought he put into his lessons. It was no wonder why when most of us had 25 students, Martin's class was busting at the seams with nearly 50, and he had a list of people waiting to get in. He was magnetic. His students loved him, and with good reason. He gave himself completely to them and inspired them to be their very best selves in the same way that he did for me. Personally, Martin was a man of a few words, but when he did have something to say, he got straight to the point and was honest, sometimes brutally honest. 